Welcome to another episode of Exposed. Exposed is a youth talk show on Mohawk TV. The purpose of the show is to expose the issues that matter to Gunawaga's youth and to provoke thought and discussion on those issues. I'm one of your panelists, Jessica Deer. I'm Corinne Jacobs. I'm JD Saylor. Guest panelist, Brooke Deer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we kind of wanted to have um, our fourth seat uh, rotating every week with a different youth and with us this week is uh, my younger sister Brooke <laughs> but uh, if any youth out there want to come on the show you're welcome to and just give us a call and email and all that to stop me in the street and yeah. I'll let them know <laughs> so on this week's episode we kind of wanted to discuss technology and its effects on youth it's really broad but um yeah, so tell us about the story that you had um, happened to you last weekend. Yeah, so um, I was in Walmart, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And okay, I was walking and this woman, she was staring at me as I was walking through like the, the makeup aisle and I was like, I don't know, I was a little weirded out. And then she stopped and she said, aren't you on TV? And I was like, yeah, 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 no, I'm on Mohawk TV. She goes, I knew it was you. And she was telling, <laughs> like, she was saying how much she liked, she enjoyed watching the show. And uh, she told me that she had, um, she had a like a topic that she wanted us to talk about. So it was pretty much about this. She mentioned like how, because she has a son and how you know she's trying to get him to read more instead of using technology and stuff like that. So, you know, she inspired our topic for this week. <laughs> so that's pretty cool though. It's cool to know that people are watching and they they enjoy what we're doing too. So and aren't afraid to come up to us and in Walmart of all oh, places. Yeah. I mean, it's a good thing that like I realized she was from here too because like Walmart in Saint Constant, if someone came up to me and was like, "Are you on TV?" I'd be like, "How do you know?" <laughs> <laughs> the website works. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, so speaking of uh, getting youth to read more than, than t- evil technology, uh, what, do you, what do you guys do um, as a pastime? I read. But I'm an, English, I'm an English student. Like, I've been reading since the day I learned how to read. Like, I, I love to read too, but I haven't... Uh, actually, well, my sister actually bought me a couple of books for Christmas, and I got through maybe two of them before uh, the semester started. And then yeah. it's like, Facebook, that's it. Well, when Going the semester back. starts, yeah. it's hard to read, too, though, because you're reading all your other stuff for school. Yeah. I watch a lot of TV, too, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I guess before we move on, how about you, too? Uh, <laughs> you can go first. I like to read a lot as much as possible, but normally that doesn't happen when I'm outside of school. But I'd rather spend it playing guitar or whatnot than... Or JD know, and I go for bike rides. All the time. <laughs> Not all the time. We went once. <laughs> Yeah, well, we wanted to more often, so... <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say my interests are uh, more along the lines of, like, reading and anything kind of uh, more on the creative side or artistic kind of stuff. Well, then fine, I'm the only one that, like, <laughs> I guess... If it helps, I normally leave my MSN and Facebook on and then I'll go do other things. Yeah. I, I won't really touch it, though. I find that's, like, a really common... Well, I, f- I don't use MSN anymore. I find it just... Because uh, I, I use a laptop, so my laptop is like 99.9% of the time it's always open, and like Facebook is up there, and I'll be laying on the couch and the TV's on, even though I may not be paying attention to it. Or it's just like, on. My boyfriend's like playing a video game or like something's going on, and then there's like music or, you know, it's there's always different types of uh, media. Like well, there's so networking. many different outlets too. Because when I was on MSN, I don't use it anymore but it was always open on my computer all the time. Yeah. Like as if like when I'm gone to school all day, someone's going to talk to me and I'm really going to need to see it when I get home, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Now I don't understand <laughs> where the logic came from, but at the time. Um, and then there's like there's like Facebook and Twitter and well, MySpace used to be popular. Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> I used to have MySpace too. <laughs> I haven't checked that in forever, but I still have one. Uh-huh. I think I, I deleted my account, but it wouldn't, uh, you had to like send yourself an, like, an a email. deactivation email, yeah. and I don't know, it wouldn't work, so it may or may not be there, but <laughs> <laughs> don't go look for it. <laughs> but uh, I find that uh, techno- like, technology really changed our way of like so- socializing, but also just like because we're growing up too, I mean, when it, we're 
younger it's just like you you ride your bike to your friend's house knock on the door and be like can they come out and play (laughs) that's true no because i know but now you 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 have so many different avenues actually i was just watching he's just not that into you and Drew Barrymore makes like the best spiel about how a yes. boy calls you, you know? <laughs> and like how before you used to have your answering machine and there was either a message or not. And now it's like you check your Facebook, your cell phone, your email, everything. And I loved it. I was Only like, to so be true. rejected by seven different portals. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but she makes a good point though. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't know how many people that go like I don't go to my family's house and go knock on the door. I usually call or my cousins I'll text them. Texting is a big one. Yes. <laughs> well, but well, I mean, well, like, yeah. how many times do you do you call someone or do you text? Not them, that much you know anymore. I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. If well, if my friends were far away and you know I would need my parents to give me a ride to go get them rather than just biking, I'd like call and say, "Can we hang out and whatnot?" But now it's just it's always text, and you know, I mean, there's face to face interaction once we're hanging out. But, but do you even uh, like through something like? Facebook or Twitter and you re- you're reading like their statuses and um, it's like so I guess mundane that you know I'm going to the doctors today for no doctors well you don't even need to ask so people that's what you anymore. don't even have to ask because you know what they're essentially what they're doing that day and it's like oh they didn't update it like then that's when it's like oh are you doing anything today <laughs> yeah well you don't even need to ask anymore it's as soon as you see your friends you're like oh hey I heard you know you had you did this like on the weekend or how was that and you know they never told you before but they proclaimed it on some one of these portals like technological portals so <laughs> everyone that. knows about it i'm just gonna call it that from now on a technological it's, uh, portal <laughs> it, it's just it's you you know I, I find out with with my friends that um you know update their uh, technology all the time like facebook and you know twitter and just or th- my friends that like text me all the time when they're not doing really anything like not for anything important when I, when I do see them it's just it's boring we you know there's like not too much too many things to discuss and it's just uh, stupid Facebook <laughs> <laughs> but what about um you mentioned cell phones and like calling your friend up like are there very many youth that actually use their cell phones to make phone calls I can't imagine so. Anymore? I don't, I don't yeah, know. there like, they really are. I mean, I, I use my cell phone a lot for like work purposes, so that's when I actually have to call people. But the only person who really calls me is my mom, <laughs> like leaving like messages on the answering machine. So I'd rather write a letter to someone. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I do do that though. But you know what? I, I text. I text all the time. Like I, I can admit to that. But. I do, like, if I really want a straight answer about something, I call the person. Because that whole, like, waiting, like, you don't know if you're going to get an answer from them, or, like, asking, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing at three? Want to go get ice cream? Like, one text ten. after the other? I know. Yeah, and it's just, like, <laughs> ten texts before you get to what you want to say. It's that. like, uh, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, yeah. that little NM, you. <laughs> but, uh... What do you think the effects of this, you know, this whole texting lingo has on youth? It's depressing a little bit. From from my point of view, that a lot of people don't know how to properly use the language. I mean, it's okay to not know how to spell words, and that's fair. Uh, you can try, because spell check does exist. We use that all the time. But, like, one of my professors, he was really angry because in one of the person's essays, or it was a sh- like a short story, they wrote you with just a you. And he was like, you're in university. He's like, honestly, like, really, did you just do that? I can, I can imagine, though, how it's, um, I guess, um, I, I can't think of the word. It's just like a, ha- a bad habit. It's a habit. Because that's the way, like, we're so used to typing, even though, like, I, I do try whenever possible to spell out the whole word but like one of the words that's like in my vocabulary that I tend to use all the time and now is so it's just like <laughs> it's always there <laughs> yeah I always find typos and some grammatical errors in my work when I don't edit it but I'm always conscious like not to use that kind of language but yeah when I'm speaking to someone things like sup will come up all the time like well <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that that bothers me. To actually say, when someone says lol, 
<laughs> just I, like that, yeah. I, I like well, I don't do it all the time, but just to be like sarcastic, like lols, <laughs> like, like joking. It's only with like friends that it really. Like... Actually, Scrubs did a pretty good parody of that for one episode. One of the doctors, he like just got introduced to the world of texting, and he was making a whole bunch of jokes throughout the th- throughout the show, throughout the episode about that. It's pretty great. <laughs> okay. Well, on that note, we'll be right back after this break.